guys and welcome back to my channel Bonsai Style or welcome if you're new here. My name is Michaela and thanks for stopping by. Long time no film or upload. I actually got really, really sick this past week like for eight or nine days. I was really, really sick. Thought I had the start of pneumonia but I got tested and I didn't have pneumonia and it was determined that I had RSV or something which is really weird because it's most common in babies and toddlers but I guess because of my symptoms and the medication that I was on wasn't working like fast or working at all really. Um, and my symptoms, I guess I had RSV so I don't know, I almost landed myself in the hospital. It's been a long like nine days and I really missed filming for you guys and I just kind of feel out of my element to be honest. Like this is like one of my longest stretches not filming in a long time and my hair just has a mind of its own today. Like it's just not right today. It's actually like looks like it's pitch black outside and it's literally like 2.30 and it's so dark and rainy like it's one of the like darkest days I remember like it's so dark and you wouldn't really be able to tell because of my studio light but there's this weird shadow so and I just can't no matter which way I turn or move the camera there's a shadow because of the way the lights are so I apologize for that but I didn't want to let, let the weather stop me from filming because I'm a filmed and it's so long. I didn't care what it was. I wanted to film for you gals. Today's video is my March Ipsy unbagging and when I'm filming this it's literally the last day of March so I'm hoping I can get it up the same day so that I can upload it in March. I got my March Ipsy like really early this month and I really really loved this month's bag and cannot wait to share it with you gals. If you're unfamiliar, Ipsy is a $10 a month beauty subscription service that features anything from hair care to skin care to makeup to nail care and beauty tools. So I will have a link in the description where if you sign up for Ipsy using my link, I will receive 250 points and I would really appreciate it if you'd sign up using that link if you decide to sign up for Ipsy because you can use the points that you earn by inviting other friends and reviewing products by redeeming those points for other products and they've had some really great point perks lately so I'm really trying to save up my points because there's a couple things that I'm really eyeing. So if you're interested or you've been thinking about signing up for Ipsy, I would really appreciate it if you would use my link. I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm like totally out of my filming element, you guys. For this month's theme of March, or this month's bag, this bag was actually black and white and then they included in the bag two markers where you could color, like fabric markers, where you could color the bag, which I thought was so cute, such a cute touch, and I don't know, I just really liked it. I wasn't a fan of the two markers colors that I got. I got orange and then this teal color. I was really hoping for the yellow and pink that some people got with the pink zipper. I just thought that that would have went perfect. And so I was really hoping for the pink and yellow, but I got the teal and orange, which I wasn't super a fan of, but I, it's not terrible either. I think it's super cute and I love it because everybody's bag is literally different. Nobody's bag is the same and I don't know I just really like it. Here's the other side as well so this is really fun to sit down and color and like I said everybody got different markers and things like that so they included two markers. I'll actually insert some pictures of like before and after on my tweet of them to Ipsy and I actually got retweeted a bunch of times from you guys and then from Ipsy, they retweeted my tweet. That was one of my tweets that has ever gotten the most likes or favorites, so that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed sharing my bag with Ipsy and how it turned out. Like I said, you guys are seeing the pictures, so you'll know what it looked like before, but here's what my bag turned out and how I decided to color it based on the two markers that I was given. Let's go ahead and get on into the contents of the bag to see what products I received. 2017 wasn't the best year for bag designs for me or products, but this year has been so good. I've loved every single bag design and there was a sneak peek of the April design and it is so cute as well. I've just been in love with every single bag design the past three months so far, which is pretty rare for me because I'm pretty picky but critical. So I really enjoyed the year's Ipsy and I just feel like they're really stepping it up. So. I'm really excited to show you what's inside. This month's theme was create, so hence like the coloring your own bag and having the, the bag be like a black and white canvas or having them give us two different 
my grace to color with and it just gives you this whole spiel about the theme. I don't like reading it, but if you are so inclined to do so, you can pause this and read it. That's what the theme was about for real this time. Let's go ahead and see what I got. So the first product that I received in my bag is by Benefit Cosmetics. And if you gals know you know me, you know that Benefit is one of my favorite brands of all time. I just love their products. I love their packaging. To be completely honest, I think Benefit has the cutest makeup packaging of like any brand I've seen. And there's just something about the, their packaging. I just, it's impeccable. And their products are amazing. I received a deluxe sample of the their new mascara. And this is the Bad Gal Bang Bigger, Badder, Volumizing Mascara. I've actually heard pretty good things about it and I tend to really like Benefit mascaras. I really love their lash primer. I think I like their lash primer better than their mascara sometimes, but the la their lash primer paired with their mascara is also a really amazing pair. So I just love Benefit eye products. I'm not going to open it at the moment just because I have so many mascaras opened, but I'm very excited to try this. You get a big brand like Benefit and my Ipsy bag is pretty rare for me. I feel like only like new subscribers to Ipsy get these really nice brands, so I was really excited to just get a Benefit product in my so bag. This next product that I received, I was so, so excited for. This is like just one of my best products for bags yet. Best month for Ipsy I've had like almost ever. So this is the City Color Cosmetics Glow Duo. So I love City Color Cosmetics. So this has a cream highlight and then a powder highlight. The consistency of both of these are beautiful. I do not know if you can see that, but those are such beautiful swatches. I wish I would have used that today, but obviously I'm unbagging this, so I didn't want to use it, but that is gorgeous. I I think this might be my new favorite highlights. These are like a nice natural look. These are really pretty. And this is a full-size product too. I love City Color Cosmetics. It's one of those brands for me that I really love, but it's so underrated. To me, there's those brands that are just, that just have really great products, don't get enough love or like recognition. For me, like some of those like smaller brands that are, that come to mind to me are City Color Cosmetics and Essence. Essence Cosmetics, like those two brands to me are just such good brands and they're so under. Wait, I'm just letting you guys know that, but yeah, I was really excited to get that Glow Duo. The next product that we have here is by Glossier, and this is the CoconutBalm.com Universal Skin Sale Balm. I'm not a huge fan of coconut, especially for lip products. Don't mind the scent, but for lip products, I'm not really a fan of coconut, but I'm really bummed because I've heard really great things about this product, and this, this one and the mint one is like the only two flavors I didn't want to get and I ended up getting one that I didn't want so and I've heard really great things about not only Glossier but also this product in general so I'm really bummed but I think we're going to save it for a giveaway or something because I just won't be reaching for this. This next product that I pull out of my Ipsy bag I actually redeemed my Ipsy points for this so this is what I'm talking about where you can redeem your Ipsy points for like extra product. I got a deluxe sample of the Tarte Tartus lip paint and I've heard amazing things about these. I've heard that they stay on like all day. So excited to finally try this. I've been wanting to get some of my own. One of my friends like she just raves and raves about Tarte paints but they're more pricey and I just I just have so many lip products that I just can't justify it right now spending like 20 more dollars on a, another lip product when I have like literally dozens of lip products like it's actually a problem so when I said hey I have points I was like I'm gonna try it so no guilt. I have like so many products on this bag this month I don't know I just feel like it keeps going on and on and on so that's cool. This next product that I received in my Ipsy bag is by the brand Scone and it's the large shadow eyeshadow brush and I love I say this also every time I get a brush in my Ipsy but I love it because Brushes are like so expensive, but yet I always love getting new brushes. This was a great 
product for me to receive in my bag. And I really like scone brushes. They're really, really great quality. Right, so the last product that I received in my March Ipsy bag is by the brand Hikari, and this is one of their cream pigments. I love their loose pigments, and I'm not a fan of like loose pigments, so I'm really excited to know that I received one of their cream pigments. This is the color that I received, and it's in the shade Shine. Do a little swatch for you gals. This is gorgeous. You guys see that color? Oh, that is so pretty. I love this color. Yes. Go Hikari. Right, so that was everything that I received in my March Ipsy bag for 2018. I absolutely loved this month's Ipsy bag. It was one of the best months that I've had, like, almost ever. It was just a great uh, Ipsy month for me, and I just loved all the products that I received, and I uh, can't wait to try them. I don't think I could honestly pick a favorite other, like I said, the Glossier Balm I won't be utilizing, but other than that, I don't think I could pick a favorite. It's just, it was a really great Ipsy month. Let me know if you are subscribed to Ipsy and or if you have been thinking about subscribing to Ipsy. It's very affordable. It's only $10 a month. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Um, I know I didn't update you on here about what had been going on if you'd like me to do an update or something, or I'll probably just jump right back into uploads and then maybe just do a little spiel on my vlog channel coming up. Definitely go subscribe to my vlog channel if you are not already. And you guys can catch up on there in a few days when I do a vlog. So, yeah, that's it for today's video again. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!